Hey everyone, it's 2021 and we are here at the Samsung headquarters in Dubai and that can only mean one thing which is the next release of the S series phones from Samsung and I am happy to show you this is the S21. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the Samsung phones and uh, every year we, we obviously see a new phone coming out. So it's obviously great for people to upgrade every two or three years. Uh, so people who just upgraded for the S20 series, which was also a good series, as well as the Note 20 series. This is basically those, for not for those users, but for people who have had uh, say the S10 or the S9. So you get to see people at least upgrading maybe twice in every generation when it comes out. Now the S21 in particular is a phone that has a very different de different design architecture. It does have the three camera layout as you can see but however the, the camera bump now blends into the phone along with the case which gives it a bit of an, like an enclosure kind of a situation here. So what's different between the S20 and the uh, S21? Well for starters three main areas the display performance and camera which is always the case, as well as the battery as well. Uh, in the case of the S21, however, the battery is not marginally uh, improved. It's just more optimized than the pre previous generation. However, uh, there are a few uh, things to talk about performance. Now, in particular, people who have been griping about the fact that Exynos is generally underpowered than Qualcomm will see a different tune from Samsung. In fact, Samsung just released a video talking about how Exynos was so undervalued and they were in fact recording comments about and benchmarks about how Exynos really did not do so well under uh, different scenarios uh, in 2021. However, the S21, well, the Exynos processor in particular would actually have the same, almost the same architecture as the Qualcomm version. And uh, in fact, Samsung are boldly saying that the Exynos and Qualcomm aren't very that different. So that remains to be seen, but that's one of the biggest things that uh, Samsung are pretty much going on the, t on the town to tell people that this in particular is not going to be a problem for people who, and especially in the Europe and Middle East where we don't even get Qualcomm devices. And if you do, um, it's very expensive. Now, one of the things I also want to talk about in terms of design is the color scheme. This is the uh, Phantom Pink. Uh, they are all matte finished. And the, another thing to note about as well, the Samsung S21 phones, all of them, uh, all the variants are 5G, there's no more 4G. So uh, this is, the S20 is the last time you get to see the 4G device. Now I'm not sure if that's going to be a relic, but more or less you'll start to see Samsung now telling people, okay, it's time to upgrade and this is what we're going to be doing. Now, in terms of camera performance, one of the main things that over here is that these uh, key cameras over here, especially, has a new technology called uh, director mode, which is great for vlogging. In fact, uh, they also have another technology. So if you remember S20, the S20 had something called space zoom, which was not exactly the best in its class, but Samsung have, have gone, have gone uh, above and beyond to fix that right now in this edition. And uh, we will be talking about that in just a second, but there have been notable performance gains uh, for the uh, Samsung S21 and the S21 Plus is not too, way too different. In fact, uh, there's a great color scheme called the Phantom Violet, which I love in particular, like especially the fact that it has this nice uh, purple and uh, rose gold-ish esque tint on top of it. And this is like a, a generally a phone. If you don't put a case on top, I would recommend you put a case on top. Get a clear case for this, which makes it really stand out. Like this is a phone that you'd never see anywhere else and Samsung have already done a good design. This also comes from the S21 uh, normal edition as well. However, I am very disappointed that this color scheme is not there for the S21 Ultra. Now, the S21 Ultra in particular uh, comes in two colors. is the silver and black. 
and as you can see it is the most vastly uh, deferred phone uh, in to put it in perspective the S21 comes in the 6.2 uh, inch display uh, the uh, S21, all, the S21 Plus comes in the 6.7 and this is a 6.8. This has the biggest battery of them all, 5000 milliamps. The S21 Plus comes in the uh, uh, 4800 milliamp range and the S21 comes in 4000 milliamp as well. So this is the phone that you're wanting, going to get for people who, is, who want a lot from their phone. And I'll tell you why. So this, uh, when it comes to space zoom in particular, this has uh, Two, two, actually four lenses on the back and one on the front and it also has a 40 MP selfie sensor. I'm calling it a selfie sensor, it's a front camera sensor, but uh, there's a good reason for that. So this can actually, uh, have, this has a technology called the smart zoom lock, which when you're taking in space zoom and you want to lock onto an object, just hover around it for two seconds and it locks on just fine. And you can then capture detail. Now, I've always asked for people who, who why would you want a high performance zoom unless you're someone shooting wildlife or you're shooting a, lands a big landscape and you want to get like specific buildings and crop it. Again, these are for professional photographers. I don't really get to see how many people are going to be using this technology, but it works and it works well. And there's again, a lot more testing that needs to be done to see how it deals in different scenarios. But we tried right now, uh, trying to shoot text in a small calendar from way far away and it worked just fine. And I'm pretty sure once more software updates come, that technology gets a bit more improved. Again, that's one technology. The second one being in the camera specifically is directive mode. Uh, for people who are into vlogging, this is definitely something that would really, really like. Uh, the people who have been recording themselves, trying to flip cameras back and forth, no longer need to do that. It has something called directive mode, which is pretty good. Uh, this also, they all have 8K, by the way. The, all the cameras have 8K, but 8K24. But this one in particular, all, all camera, all lenses on this camera can record up to 4K 60, which is great. And a final thing to add in, in terms of uh, display as well, this is called, this has a uh, 10 to 120 hertz display. It's called a variable refresh rate, which means that it'll optimize on your battery usage, which is also cool. And if you are talking about, if you're talking about in terms of gaming performance, uh, it will optimize that also as well. As you know, Samsung has their own pre-built installer for games and it optimizes the internals for that. So this is something that you're going to be uh, good at, especially if you're into Fortnite, PUBG, if you play a lot on your phone, this is something that you definitely want to consider. And finally, speaking for people who are at work, the S Pen now works well with the S21 Ultra. This is the case that comes with it and you can snug in uh, the pencil in this case. This is a pencil, this is a Tedler pencil. Uh, the S21 Ultra works well just for that. So you can also expect to use Samsung's DeX PC software on this, which is great. I'll just show that real quickly. So here you go. And the air commands work just fine as well. And if you have a Note device and you had a previous generation pencil still around, that one will work as well. So this is Samsung's way of bridging the Note and uh, S users together, especially for the Ultra. So the Ultra is definitely the best version of this phone that you can possibly get. And uh, it is worth considering that this is a phone that even I would act, I would really well consider in terms of a significant upgrade. But for more in-depth uh, news as soon as we get these devices for a much longer testing, I'm definitely going to update you guys more. And with that being said, please throw me a like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.